What's up, everybody? This is Sean Turnage, and this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. Uh, I'm actually gonna try and stay away from the dating and relationships, you know, because there's already people already out there that's already kind of, you know, made their name in the, in the YouTube world for that or in the digital media world for that, and I'm not trying to be a cliche video maker, but this is gonna be one of those videos, and this is gonna be one of the few videos that I make about them. And uh, it's actually just... You know, my viewpoint, because I'm not, I don't really give advice. I kind of just tell a story and hopefully people catch on to what I'm saying. But I can't stand when people find stupid reasons for being alone or not talking to somebody that they're interested in. You know, especially dudes, because like whenever somebody tells me that they saw an attractive girl, I go, well, did you talk to her? And they go, no, man. And then they give you some impractical reason as to why they really didn't talk to that person. And it's like, go talk to her. The worst thing she can say is no, and you're in the same position. And then the best thing she can say is yes. And then you guys move forward from there, you know. And, you know, me, I, I'm interested in a different girl every day for my own benefit, you know, because... I'm not trying to waste time and I got too much pride to be trying to chase one woman. And women nowadays, they they live in this fantasy world where the dude is supposed to keep texting them and texting them and texting them and texting them and calling them until they spontaneously start loving the guy that's doing all this work. Get, get that out of here. But, you know, for the people that, you know, get turned down all the time, my my what I do is you I approach some I approach a woman and I go, hey. I'm Sean. I find you attractive. Maybe can I get your number and we can hang out sometime. If she says no, I'll go talk to her friend. And then girls will be like, well, you can't do that. And it's like, well, why? What I took to you, you didn't appreciate. So why not take it to somebody that does appreciate it? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm supposed to be alone because just because there's no legitimate reason uh, for me not to talk to somebody that might have interest in me. Get, the, get that out of here. Get that out of here, man. We're living in a different world now. And uh, it's like, I get turned down all the time. And I'm cool with that, you know. If I had $100 for every time a girl turned me down, believe me, I'd be paying some bills. Or every time I got stood up or lied to, <laughs> I'd be suited for a few years. And But I'm cool with that because I tried. We, you know, let me ask... <sighs> In the world of question, would you rather be alone knowing that you tried to be with somebody and actually took that step? Or would you rather be alone because you didn't try and now you're wondering, did that person ever like you? You get what I'm saying? And I'm cool with, you know, being alone. I'm not lonely because of the simple fact is I'm cool with trying. If she tells me, nope, I go talk to another girl across the street. And girls, you know... This is for everybody. This video is for everybody. Girls, I really don't like it when you sit there and say, well, I'm interested in this guy. And then you turn around and go, well, because like I've heard, here's how, here's some stories that I've heard. It'd be like some girl tell me, yeah, I'm interested in this one guy. Immediately, I know it's not me because I'm getting friend zoned in. <laughs> but they'll be like, I'm interested in this guy. And then, the, and then I go, well, go talk to him. And then their response is, well, if he's interested in me, then he should come talk to me. I'm sorry. I was just dodging your bullshit. <laughs> and the thing is, because <laughs> it's stupid. There's no reason why anybody of the opposite sex or the same sex should not talk to the person that they're interested in. And honestly, if you can't tell the person that you're interested in how you feel... Then you really don't deserve with that per. Then you really don't deserve to be with that person. Matter of fact, you know, or maybe you deserve to be alone if you can't tell, you know, a person how you feel because of you're afraid to get rejected. Eh, we're living in a different time. You need everybody needs to grow a pair, either grow some breasts or grow some balls, and man up and woman up and talk to the person that you're interested in because there's only two things that can happen and it's called a tautology which means it's always true which means something will happen it's a philosoph it's a philosophical term it means something will happen either it's a yes or a no you can't maybe 
give somebody their your number. <laughs> you, they can't say maybe. It's always a yes or a no. Even if they say maybe and walk away, it's still a no. Even if they say maybe and give you their number, it's still a yes. So, you know, always expect something, but just be satisfied with at least you tried. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, uh, I'm Sean, and this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing.